チカちゃん見て見て<笑>何かに夢中になりたくてどうぞ何かに全力になりたくてあああ待って待って脇目も振らずに走りたくてでも何をやっていいかわからなくて<笑>私のすべてを吹き飛ばし舞い降りた Welcome to the 12th episode of Tage Soba with a review for the Idotastic Love Life Sunshine. I'm Anime Professor Molesh, and this is my student, Nate. We're a little late for the summer review, but if you live in Florida like us, it's always beach season. And what better way to spend it than sitting inside just watching cute high school girls try to become idols through love and friendship? That sounds great, and as a side note, Love Life Sunshine is actually a sequel series to the original anime known as Love Life School Idol Project, which I did enjoy. However, the premise in Sunshine was just too similar, which caused me to not like it as much, as I'll explain later in the review. Love Life Sunshine appropriately aired in the summer season of 2016 with 12 happiness inducing episodes. It is a spiritual successor to Love Life School Idol Project, and similarly, it focuses on a group of high school girls that want to become idols. Except by now, Muse has become a popular idol group, and now you're going to see a lot of other schools start making idol clubs, which will saturate the market, making it hard for our group in Sunshine, of course, to actually get famous. However, this does not stop our girls, and they go through the trials and tribulations in order to become one of the most famous pop groups in Japan. Sunshine is broken up into two parts the first half focusing on our leader, Chika, as she recruits the other members to join. The second half focusing on the girls and, of course, trying to get popular. So, right off the bat, I have one huge complaint about Sunshine, and that is basically copying the plot of School Idol Project. I really did enjoy watching School Idol Project a couple years ago, even the second season. But Love Life Sunshine is just too much of the same, and I personally feel that it doesn't hit nearly as hard, and the novelty of a School Idol anime has worn off. In the original School Idol Project, it starts with three second year students forming a group, then they recruit three first years, and then three third years. They literally copied this format in Sunshine in the exact same order. It did not appeal to me the second time around, and I was bothered by how much the foundations for the characters were also copied in Sunshine from School Idol Project. In Sunshine, the character types are just too similar to School Idol Project. Since they're both part of the same franchise, and I watched School Idol Project first, when watching Sunshine, I just couldn't help but compare the girls. This is another negative point for me, but at the core, the characters aren't really all that bad. But a couple of them are a little annoying to me, but then again, in School Idol Project, they were a little bit annoying to me as well there too. Since I like the characters in the original anime, and they are pretty similar in Sunshine, I think the characters themselves are pretty good and likable. And if you watch Sunshine first, you'll like them more since you don't have anything to compare them to. And you'll like them in the same way I like the original girls from Muse. Well, of course, Stanley is inspired by Muse. I found them different enough for me to actually really enjoy. We start off with the second years. We got Chika, our bright and energetic leader, Yu, our cheerful costume designer, and Riko, their musical composer, who was quite reserved, unlike the other girls. The second years would go on to recruit the first years, who consisted of Ruby, the super shy member in the group. Then we got Hanamura, who was literally impressed by everything. And lastly, we got Yoan, who was a crazy person. That believes she's an angel sent from the heavens. Lastly, we got the third years, who consists of Daya, who was at first kind of mean to the group, but eventually becomes much more funnier. Then we got Kanan, who is the mom of the group, who takes care of everybody. And lastly, we got Mari, who is a half Italian and half Japanese. She is extremely happy and speaks fabulous English. Unlike Nate, I'd say that Al Kors was much more of a fun group for me, having tons of members that I truly loved. Sunrise Studios is behind the summer hit, which may be surprising at first glance since they're mainly known for a lot of their work on Gundam and other mecha shows. However, they did do the original Love Life School Idol project, and they have done other slice of life shows in the past, like Daily Lives of High School Boys. Overall, I was impressed by how they managed to make Sunshine look better than the previous slice of life works. I wasn't blown away, but since it's a slice of life, I think it's par for the course, and I do agree that the 3D animated scenes look a lot better in Sunshine than they did in School Idol Project. There isn't much that will stand out other than the choreography and the dance sequences, which looks pretty good. And the bubbly art style with bright colors fits the tone and the theme very well, so let's talk about the soundtrack. Being a show that focuses on music, 
You're going to expect all the musical elements of the show to be great, and Sunshine does just that. Honestly, I was really surprised by the amount of detail that was put into the background music. There were so many playful, sad, and whimsical pieces throughout the show that really add to the non addo activities showcased throughout. Also, the songs are for a song were really nice, especially the last few. The opening and ending were both solid. I preferred the ending, and when we look at the voice acting, the girls did a great job of really voicing these idols, and in particular, Mario's Ingress was the goddamn best. Thank you! Since the original Love Life School Auto Project didn't have an English dub until way later, I had to watch the Japanese audio for that. Sunshine already has an English dub out. However, I did still watch the Japanese audio for Sunshine, and I thought the voice acting was pretty good, especially Mari's hilarious English voice lines. What? The music was good, but the style of it isn't my thing. And neither really was the music in the original School Idol project either. I mean, Snow Halation was good, but I'm just not into the pop idol genre. So I don't really have much to say about the music. It was good, and I did like at least one song from the in anime group Saint Snow. Love Life Sunshine fulfilled everything I could have hoped for in the sequel series to the original work, and it proved out the formula that made School Idol project is successful in every single way possible. I would highly recommend it to anyone that wants to watch an idol anime or if you enjoyed the original series. To wrap up what I said earlier, Sunshine was just too similar to School Auto Project, and it did nothing to capture me in the way that its predecessor did. I just wasn't as engaged with the story as I felt I had experienced it before. In the end, I think that if you are interested in an anime about cute school girls becoming idols through the power of friendship, then you would like Sunshine. And if you watch Sunshine first, then School Auto Project will still be enjoyable to you, as they make a lot of references and callbacks to School Auto Project, in Sunshine. But for anyone like me who watches Sunshine after the original, you might not like it as much. It's just different, but again, it's a toss-up. My review is biased, but I will say since I did like the original School Auto Project, if you think you might be interested in it, I can definitely recommend that. As for anime newbies, I don't inherently recommend this anime, but if you are an anime newbie and you think you do want to watch an anime about high school girls in Japan and being a school idol group, then go for it. There is an English dub to sweeten the deal. You can watch Love Live Sunshine for free on Funimation right now, but only the subtitle version. The dub version is paid, for now. And as always, if you've already watched Love Live Sunshine, you can click the first link in the description for our post-review discussion, which includes some light spoilers. As always, thanks for watching our review of Love Live Sunshine. If you liked it, click like or give a comment for feedback. And we'll see you guys next time with our spooky Halloween review for the anime, Another.